How's it going guys? Today we're making a track like Silver Bumper. We're making his organ banger, Get To Know. This is what it sounds like. Firstly, we've got the kick, it sounds like this. All of these drums are from my speed gauge pack. You can get them from my website, the link for that is below. So I've got this really thumpy kick. I've added this drum bus on top of it. I've also grouped it with the bass and put this saturator and this EQ on there. So if we have a look at the saturator, we've got it on DC mode. And um, we've also boosted it by about 2.9 dB, which is making it a bit louder and just fatter. And next we've got this EQ. It sounded a little bit muddy, so I've taken out some of the low end at 153 hertz and boosted some at 135. Without it, with it, it makes it a lot louder. We then listen to the drums. So firstly, we've got a clap, then another clap. You really wanna layer your claps with either claps or snares, it just makes them sound a lot fatter and fuller. We then want a hat. Once you've got this hat going, let's add another hat. Same with the hats, you really want to layer them. You can have two, three layers, maybe even four layers, pan a few, to make them sound a lot nicer and fatter. And then lastly, you sort of want a top loop, which just has a bit of rhythm to it. As you can hear, it's got a little snare. I use a lot of loops, especially top loops, because it just stays with me fucking around, having to add like percussion hits, all this sort of stuff. Uh, and then what you can do is take the groove from it. So go here, extract groove. Once it's extracted, go to all your drum layers and apply that to the drums, and then they all have that same groove. Uh, I cover this in pretty much every tutorial, but yeah, it's really important that you guys are doing this. Same with the bass, make sure you're applying it to the bass. In this instance, I actually don't think I've done it yet. So yeah, make sure you're applying it to the bass. In terms of processing on the drums, I've got this little EQ, which is taking out some of the harshness at about 4.8 uh, kilohertz, so about five kilohertz. I've got this drum bus, which is gluing everything together and fattening the sound a bit. And I've also got this reverb. I always think on the drum bus, so the drum group in Ableton, you should always have a reverb on it as it just really takes away some of the harshness and makes it sound more full and glued together. Next we move on to the bass. So there's two ways of doing this. You can obviously, if you've got the Korg M1, then you can use the Korg M1, the organ two preset. If you haven't, then you can go on to splice and you can search for organ, organ bass you want. There you go. Then you can just download that one and drag it in into a sampler like, like this. And it sounds like, and then you put in the MIDI. I think that's a bit of a weird one. It's got some sort of uh, digital effects on it. So it's not the nicest one, but obviously have a look through Spice and find one that's much better and cleaner. Um, but yeah, if you have a look at the MIDI, the MIDI, yeah, it's pretty simple actually. Um, I like, the, I think the last tutorial, the MIDI was fucking up, down, everywhere. Um, but yeah, pretty simple-ish progression. Wouldn't say it's the most difficult one. Uh, quite nice and short, so it's repetitive and gives it that sort of groove. In terms of effects, we've got this EQ8. So without it, really muddy, bit dirty sounding. That reverb doesn't sound right. So this is boosting the high end and taking out all that horrible mud at about 194. I've also got these dips here. If I get rid of them, You'll hear when it hits these higher notes, it's really harsh. Oh, so yeah, put these on. So yeah, what I did to do that, I got one of these, boosted it, changed the Q to really tight, and then I'll just look at along here. You can sort of see the bits that is a bit too loud. Um, and then, yeah, so from there, I just ducked it down.
Great. Uh, next, we've got this saturator without it. Really making everything a lot louder and warmer. And then we've got this OTT. So this is just the OTT preset. And I've died down the amount to 24% without it. With it. You can hear it's got that over the top in the high end. So yeah, some really like over the top um, compression in the high end, which adds that really nice sort of modern sound to it. And I've just got this side chain to the kick. Um, so yeah, using the Ableton compressor. If you're also here, is this little sound. So if we have a look at this on its own, yeah, to find this, I was literally looking through my Rave Stabs folders and I just came across it and I was like, that's the exact sound that I think Silver Bumps used, or if not very similar. Let's hear the original. So it just sort of shows you like, I mean, yeah, he has more reverb and shit on it. But like, come on, that's pretty similar. I mean, he's just more quiet. So yeah, I'd say the moral of the story there is to try and keep your library organized. So your rave stabs together, your drums together, your pads together, that sort of stuff, your vocals. Um, and then you can quickly flick through to the right folder and find the right sound that you're looking for. Yeah, lastly, you've got the vocal. As always, it's split using LALAI. I've actually got an affiliate link from LALAI. I've got a sale on at the moment, um, but I use this shit all the time. I'm kind of making a remake as well, which I use to get the vocal. Yeah, so check it out and use it for remixes and stuff. Uh, feel free to use my affiliate link or don't. It's really up to you. Great, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can get this project from my Patreon. The link for that is below. And... Uh, Please like and comment down below what video you want to see next. Cheers. Bye.